Hi there, my name is Renuka and welcome to my channel. Today I am making some cards by using Maker's Mark a monthly kit and it's the December kit. I only have this kit with me. I just want to give it a try that um, I would like it or not. And if you want to see more details on kit, uh, you can watch the unboxing video. And I'll post that uh, video at the end of the uh, this uh, video. So you can see that what exactly I have in this kit. So there, uh, there are three cards there and I am kind of giving some simple ideas at how you can make the cards. So uh, I decided to make some card with this and I don't know how much card I'm making but this kit is already came with 10 card bases so definitely I'm making 10 cards and um, they are came with this take shirt card and some envelopes with them. So I just uh, cut all my card stock into half because maybe I'm making a long card or white card at anyhow I'm not going um, more than these dimensions. So these are like 11 and 4 and a quarter so I just cut out all of them. So I can use them easily in my cuttle book. Then they also came with this sheet and these dies. All these dies. So I just put uh, these dies on the this middle sheet. This is the golden middle sheet. And now I'll cut that um, in the by using the cuttle book. And at the same time I will emboss that. Because these spellbinders dies are made to cut and uh, emboss with it. So I just want to make sure that they'll cut very nicely so I just went a couple of times here and uh, then I'll just remove this and flip this so this is my C plate I remove that C plate and then I will put the uh, embossing uh, plate folder on that and then I use a B plate again so there is a very simple trick that uh, your dries will not move in that way uh, every machine has its own uh, way of uh, embossing and cutting the things so please check out your manual that uh, which machine you are using and how they die cut and emboss the things now after that you can see i cut and emboss um, these small dies and i'll show you that how they look i just put a um, washi tape there because i don't want to you know um, move these ties and I'll put this uh, blue paper here so you can see what I uh, get it from those ties. I'll just little bit zoom out so you can see everything where I stick this washi tape there is kind of some kind of impression is also there so maybe next time I will not use the washi tape I'll just put them so that I'll get more crisp and clear embossing things. Like here I have this small uh, white paper and I got this kind of impression here. One of these leaf dye is really really beautiful. And this flower dye is also a kind of nice 3D look after embossing that. Now you can see that uh, these leaf details. Uh, I'll just zoom it out a little bit. So now you can see. Here, the embossing also. So these are the things I want to do first uh, before card making. And so I have an idea that what kind of these die shapes are. And then I have these um, embellishment. I put those inside this um, cover lid of the box here. And I just put all these things together. So I have an idea what I have with me. So for this kit, uh, first of all, I just mentioned you that I will make some simple cards by using all this kit product. And these are one of the, like, the quick uh, cards because <laughs> you can make more creative cards with this kit also. But first of all, I want to show you that how you can make some quick cards with this kit. So this card based is came in a kit and this tag is also uh, came uh, in this kit. And now um, there are some glue dots. Now here um, I'm trying to use all the products which came in a kit. Uh, most of the times uh, when we add uh, different uh, different products than from rather than the other than the kit then uh, you can get more uh, chance to I think create some things but uh, here I will try to use the products which came in a kit only uh, why I'm doing that because if you have only this kit and you are starting this um, as a new so this is really nice for the beginner ones so you have that kind of uh, privilege to uh, use only this kit and still you will get the same kind of um, I think uh, 
use of it something like that so here i will just cut this more and then uh, this brad is also came in a kit and i'll just pull that on the back side and then this kit also came with this foam dots and these glue dots are also included in kits so i will just cut one strip out of these foam dots now again i'm mentioning i will try to make five cards only with the products here um, but you don't have to do that you can use your own product like for the uh, fun foam here you can use fun foam or other glue adhesive you have with you and i'm kind of trying to match this fish tail here to the or fish tail already uh, on the way. now there is one um, wood cow love sentiment here i'll just little bit zoom it out I'll zoom in so you can see how it looks now at this moment i can use this but it will took the whole thing so i will add a little bit of uh, foam from my uh, stash and i'm using here fun foam and these are the leftovers from the projects so and actually i want just a little bit of dimension here i don't want much raised look and then there is one this uh, flower came in a kit and i'm kind of giving a little bit of dimension by adding these uh, things kind of making circular thing you can put a pin here and just move it circular you can do that but uh, now i have this another glue dot with me and i'm kind of cutting that glue dot and i will put half of glue dot here behind the flower and i'll put that flower on the topmost corner here and then i'll use another half of the glue dot uh, to adhering this uh, small button these are the three buttons which came in a kit and i'll just put that here now for this uh, you can use a uh, again these glue dots and i'm using the atg tool here and now I, at this moment i want this one is little bit tilted so i just figured it out that it will not go outside but at the same time have that little bit tilted effect here and for adhering this i will not use the glue dots or anything else but i'll use the uh, glossy accent cause it will um, you know dry uh, transparent so if you uh, just goes out little bit of uh, ink uh, ink sorry the glue here and there then uh, you don't have to worry about that and then i'll just adhere that now you can see that uh, there is little bit hanging there but i don't worry about that it will not uh, uh, it will not broke and this uh, completes today's card now this at this moment this card is complete if you want to uh, just make a simple card uh, in my next video uh, with these five cards i will uh, just enhance this card by adding some more elements and making the matching envelope with this so that will be the next uh, part so there is one card now for the second card here this kit came with uh, lots of uh, dyes so i cut out these um, flowers and these leaves from those dyes now one thing i must mention here that this um, kit was came in that texture paper uh, these texture papers so much these texture papers but what happened when you um, cut them uh, the texture will remain same but if you emboss them it lose their texture somehow so i didn't emboss these i emboss only this one because i tried uh, in one of the texture paper and i thought it's not that good now i will um, here make another card and now i just kind of making one technique here whenever you want to add a different kind of uh, pattern paper in the background you want to see that how that look on the paper and how much length you want for that and how much width you want for that and basically for that thing i will never measure the thing i just put and just by eyeballing i will cut this paper because uh, i'm making here pencil marks and
and if uh, those pencil mark are shown I will just uh, erase them with the eraser that is a uh, that will not take much time here and then I'll erase, erase this at this moment I want this panel something like this and then these stickers and tags came in a kit so at this moment something like this and then I'm gonna add the two butterflies here now the kit is also came with this 3d butterflies so what they do they cut out the small butterflies and just through them you can make this kind of embellishment uh, for your crafty projects and just put one foam dot here so you can put this also on this but I'm kind of saving that for the another project maybe and this kit also came with the beautiful ribbons and I decided to add one ribbon here and like a bow or kind of tie here so these are the ribbons came in the kit and I will add this uh, white one and I'll make kind of bow here it's a simple bow and after making this bow I will just cut the now you can see that I'm switching over my um, scissors here uh, I use this cuttlebee scissor for particularly uh, very specific things like paper cutting or ribbon cutting I never use that for the foam sometimes I may be in hurry but I try to avoid that because if you use that for uh, some kind of uh, cutting the blue thing then that stick to your scissors there is new scissors from steam holes you can try that in that uh, you will don't have that kind of problem and now again I will cut these glue dots are quite a big so half will work for me so I am just cutting the half glue dot here and I will put, I'll put that on the back of the bow and then at the same time I want to attach these small leaves here and these are here so it will not uh, cover the sentiment and then this kit also came with this small embellishment like pearls and I will add one of the pearl here to hide the things and it's like uh, embellishing so I'll add that top of the bow and now I want to add these uh, two butterflies together here so something like that so I'll use here glossy accent or you can use any liquid glue Tombow Mono will also do uh, every time you can't use those dots so you need something in your supplies to kind of uh, putting things together and I'll add these golden butterflies which is also embossed and I'll add that also on the same I'm just making a little bit of shadow there so I'm just not exactly overlapping them but I will just uh, uh, make a little bit of uh, now at this moment uh, here uh, you can add uh, something like those small dots like three in colors so is also look nice always so this complete the uh, second card now for the third one um, there is one this uh, small tag um, kind of thing and I will add all those tags behind this main tag so for that I'll just put adhesive there and I'll go with the pink one first or the blue one first let's start from the bottom so it will get a nice uh, Now you can see I'm just eyeballing the things and I put a little bit adhesive behind it so that I can use my another finger to attach those and I will just make them in a line and don't worry if those are not lined you can make them like uh, uneven also and it's, it's 
are just complete now at this moment um, these papers are also came in the kit so you can add directly full paper to your card base just like that and you can put these tags here and you can attach the small another paper to enhance the look now how you can do that this is the one design paper which came in a kit so I will cut these now if you want the white border or not it depends on you if you don't want the white border you should cut the full length of it and here I decide that I want that white border all around the piece so I just cut one fourth one eighth inch from both the sides and now here you can put the four glue dots here and just make your card uh, I just want to um, show you the variations you make here by using the different adhesives and now I'll just attach this kind of uh, making the borders on all the side and now again for this I love to add a little bit raised surface so I will attach the fun foam to it most of the times whenever I'm adding fun foam I will just put the more sticky side uh, here and why I do that because it's really easy to make this one blue and put, put it because many times it happens that uh, you want to add the things but uh, it is like you can't no, here you can see that I'm just eyeballing the things that how much I need it and then I'll make one pencil mark here and then I'll cut little bit lesser than the pencil mark so at this moment you can attach this and this if you want to show this uh, typical pattern paper means the you want to focus on this pattern paper then you should use the volume here which will be little bit muted just like this which will be little bit muted the design but same time it will attach uh, give a nice look to it uh, but this volume paper is not came in a kit it is from my stash um, so I just want to show you that what kind of options you have with you. So now another technique to exactly measuring the things is just cut apart your thing, then put the uh, sticky any adhesive to the back of the panel. And now I don't know how much I want here. I'm kind of confused. I don't want to give it the whole surface. So I will just, you can use your grid mat to line up also. I will just eyeballing, eyeball it and then I'll put the whole panel on the cutting grid and then I'll just trim off the excess. So at this moment you will get the exact, um, exact panel in width that how you want it then now there is a volume so uh, volume show the glue but behind that uh, it uh, behind that card it will not now there is one beautiful pink ribbon came in a kit and I should add this before but it's okay now I'm adding this ribbon here and I'll cut this and I'm kind of putting small knot here and this ribbon is quite a heavy one so you need to uh, put some glue dots but before putting the glue dots I want to add a little bit more here so there is already a sentiment a little note and this sheet also came in the kit and I thought hello will be the nice thing to add on this card so I just need to pop up that O and then I will put this just like that and now after adding this I know where is the where is this hello is going so I can then I will cut the excess here so it will give a nice trim effect same time 
I want to add something here. Now this came, uh, this kit also came in this small uh, white rose flowers. These are a little bit kind of not popping properly, so I am just placing them. So you can use a uh, different embellishment here to. And now I'll attach some blue dot first. Then I will do the rest of the thing. Cause otherwise it's become a little bit hard to move things around. So I'll put this and then is another small adhesive and I will put that also the back of it and then I'll place that where I want those straps should go and this kit is came with lots of small embellishments like these flowers and those buttons and some kind of uh, you can see I'm struggling with that so I just drew, drew that first of all and then I will just put little knot behind that it's kind of fuzzy and then I'll pull that out and then again I will use these small blue dots which came in a kit and I'll put this just above that now after putting that I will cut this thread again the biggest twine and then I will tie the knot here at this moment I should add one more blue dot I think and it's easy to add them if you just put out that uh, transparent sheet there and then peel off these and then I'll put this small silver dot also sorry the golden dot also and then at this moment I feel like this card is complete but uh, you can add many, many small details to it. You can add a little bit of uh, pearls which came in a kit, the small pearls or uh, you can add a little bit of white detail, white dotted detail to it. So let's complete the second card. Now for the third one I really want to use this one and um, actually I'm kind of uh, struggling here. I want to use another die which not came in a kit like oval or a circle die or I can use this. Uh, golden dye twice to make that happen because this one is not that big as I want to it should cover the whole thing so that's the main uh, kind of problem here and this card is more like a boy theme or main, mains card and I want to use the wood grain texture paper here and then I'll add some more paper to it so at this moment um, you can see that these are quite a matching and if you make uh, something like this it will catch the focus all around so rather than adding the oval one um, I'll use I cut out the strip out of it and then I'll show you what I'm planning to do here so I'll cut out the one inch strip from the pattern paper and then this is the yellow paper and I'm kind of uh, seeing that how that look on it and you know then I'll attach this to this yellow paper now you can see that it makes really life easy when you cut all those in four and a quarter because you know that it will fit to your card front perfectly you don't have to worry that how it will fit like like this so at this moment I will cut this paper again this will like five and a half 
I know that but uh, if you want to I don't want to cover the whole thing I, I really like the look of that white border coming all around and then I will trim a little bit of small strip from this side now what you do with the small strip there is another trick that how you can accent your inside of the card although I want to show them in my next video there is just a quick look I think so I'll add this small accent inside the card so just like that and now you can see that I have this panel it's a little bit smaller than the main panel I'm using quite a nice glue here and I'll put this arrow panel here and this is a little bit of masculine card so I'm kind of uh, at this moment I'll add this now you can raise this with the, those foam dots and that's also a good idea to raise it so you can use those foam dots here or you can just use the fun foam <laughs> whichever is the whichever is the most easy thing for you and I'll just peel off it and I'm kind of placing this one on the middle of it I think and I'll use my grid mat to sometimes to see where I want the things and yeah and then there is one more sentiment that called celebrate and i think that suits really nice here so this card will goes for any occasion you want to and really i don't i really want to add this one but that will not look nice it will give too much to the card so i will add little small embellishment like those small dots we use here which is the center of the flower after I'll cut that and put those here I think so this one is the another one uh, this is the quite simple one I think but uh, just you can add many more things to make it really pop Now why I add this gold when I want to add these small gold dots on the both the sides so it will kind of combine the whole thing. So now I decided to add these leaves here but somehow uh, I want those on both the sides and these are like uh, cutting so I tried not to emboss them but still I got a little bit of embossing here. So I want some kind of something like this which going around then I just it's too much so I decided to add these I just kind of seeing that how things look nice together or not and these are the small dots from this circle die so So at this moment I decided to add a little bit of foam dot behind it and now I should use the same fun foam cause it will give me the same height. And now you can see that I am putting this fun foam at the extreme ends cause I want to add and little bit tuck in those uh, small rounded end inside so that I need little bit of room to move that tag and something like this so I'm kind of here eyeballing and thing things here 
combining yep. and now I decided to use those small blue dots again I will just cut them apart again so I can put them easily on the back of the buttons and then I will put the buttons on the small flags so these are pretty sticky kind of putting my hand on it so these are something like that at this moment um, this has become too glittery so I don't want to add more things on these and I'll save these small glittery thing for the another project. Now this kit also came with this um, flower and the free spirit uh, one. So we we'll use that. At the first um, session, I will mostly use the. I'll mostly use the here the stuff came in a kit and. In the second one, I will use more creatively the remaining of the kit because these are quite a simple one. If you don't have much supplies with you, still you can make uh, these kind of cards. Now here I want to stick all this just like that and then I will put um, the flowers something here, somewhere here. So I am kind of planning. I need first of all this whole thing is like five and a half so I'll cut exactly five and a half and then I want a half an inch small stripes and I'll go with three of them I think three look always nice three and five the odd numbers is like looks really nice on the cards and At this moment you can add just these stickers on top of it and make it and if you want to just uh, enhance this background panel more you can put the uh, colors here and little bit color here and then just add the things another way to um, add color to these are you can ink these backgrounds as this kit is not came in a, with ink and I just want to stick with the kit so you can use those glue dots also to make the now I'll use this grid mat as my guide to put the second stripe here so you can add all the things it's not that hard and fast and now you can see that I'm moving that strip because uh, this is the advantage of using the liquid glue you can move your project a little bit here and there and you can adjust the things around it so it will give to little bit room to hide your mistakes now uh, these small uh, stickers these are really awesome and I'm gonna put this somewhere here and then there is these leaves and for this I will use the foam dots and I'll just cut this excess stripe here And just fill off the packing and I will put that on the top of those three so it will give a little bit raised look and after this for adding sentiment you can add uh, anything from here and there's one sentiment hello there and I think I'll add this one now 
Now there is this small uh, holes and you need to pop them out. Somehow I just not want to put that because it is very sticky and kind of adhering to my hand. So I decided to add this wood veneer which came in a kit and it says happy. So I'll add this happy uh, on the very top of the card. So in that way I have a little bit room to put my little sentiment here so I can put a happy birthday or happy anniversary or anything like that. So it becomes the versatile card. Now we are ready with the five cards. So these are the, this one, the second, and this is the another one here, and this is the, and this one is the first one. Now I'll little bit speed up the process and I'll decorate them. There is uh, nothing more in decoration, and uh, if I think that I need some talking, I'll do that. But basically, I'm just adding a small paints around by using a dash and dots and adding little minimal accents to it, so it will more pop up.
so now you can see that how we decorate this card and inside of the card and envelope also it's kind of matching and going with the themes and i could take a couple of ideas by using your dies that how you can make the die with the stencil and i use just a couple of things like a red golden white and the blue one but you can use the black one if you have whatever you have in your stash just grab it so this um this card is having this matching envelope and then these kind of falling tags having this falling tag matching envelope and uh, all of these cards are like pretty simple to make and this tutorial is basically for very beginner in series so if you expect me to do more creative things with these um, kits i'll do that but uh, after some while because these kits are kind of coming up with a very simple theme and if you see the what they create um, in the creators team those are also very sim simple because these stickers whenever you have lots of stickers and stuff like that without the stamp you are making basically the simple thing now you can see that how i make these arrows here by just drawing and if you have this uh, stamp coordinated with that you can put those stamp here now in all those cards the fun thing is that i never use the ink yeah that's the fun thing that i never use the ink in my five of the cards so that's also give an idea how you can do more things in the list supplies or whatever you have in your hand. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll make one or two more projects with this kit. I don't know how much uh, cards I'm making with this kit but I just want to give you a rough idea and if you would like my channel please do subscribe to you. it. You can watch me uh, on making more um, love theme cards like this one or this one in my upcoming uh, videos and uh, you can follow me on facebook pinterest and instagram and for the more details like the detailed pictures and how exactly i'm doing all equal supplies and the similar supplies i use for these projects you always go to my blog and see more stuff on there so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye